welcome to my channel, Fats of Keto. My friends call me Jelly. I've lost 181 pounds so far on a ketogenic journey. Um, a couple weeks ago, I decided not to weigh again until the first of the year because the numbers on the scale was going up and down, up and down, between about 16 pounds, sometimes 20 different pounds. Um, yes, most of it was water weight. Um, and when I was doing the first time around page four, um, I got discouraged because the weight was not moving on the scale like I liked even though my clothes were loose. My mom said it wasn't working. Even though I tell y'all don't go by the scale, go by your clothes and your inches. Could I follow my own advice? Nope. Um, I also did a carb up recently um, just to see because people swear by it because um, I have been basically stuck for almost six months of the same weight up and down. And this is not a new thing to me. This does happen every year. Um, but I wanted to break it so bad. But yeah, I said bye-bye to the scale until January 1st. And then we'll start again. Um, but I am staying keto. I'm going to show you. I didn't record what I ate this weekend at all. I didn't actually eat meals. I just snacked and grazed, which is not a very good thing usually on keto at all. Um, but I've been under a lot of stress. So I'll be the first to admit that when I'm under stress, it's really hard for me to actually sit and eat a meal. Um, my protein has been very low the last two days. So hopefully today will help um, with that. So I am going to show you a few things I've done. I will also show you my breakfast and show you my dinner. And then we'll talk in a minute. So I am at BJ's today, which is kind of like a salmon Costco. And I have just found their peanut butter fat bomb here. So if you do dirty keto, you can have these. Well, well I can't say you can have it or not. I don't know how it's going to affect you. But they are, I don't know how much they are. I'm assuming they're about $20 because this one's $20. So they have this one too, um, which I have not yet to try. Um, but I have had this one. It's good. I love the caramel because it gives me no nuts. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what else is here. Um, there was a box for $23 of um, the Oreo type Quest Bars, but I'm not a big Quest Bar fan, so yeah, I didn't, I didn't decide to record until I saw these. So this, it's $9 a bag, and this is a new item for here. At least I've never seen it before. So if you can eat these without it messing up your sugar, um, I actually love them. They just stall me out, but I'm gonna get some for the holidays. Most people on keto do eat nuts. Some even eat peanuts still, so we have potass potassium, <sighs> pistachios, <laughs> peanuts, bags of almond, so, and especially macadamia. Are these the macadamians? I don't, yeah. So on keto, that's a good snack to go to if you have no nut issue. Um, remember they do add up quickly in calories and carbs before you know it because yeah yeah kind of get a little lost when eating nuts at least I know I do this is the one I used to eat before they come in little packets to go let's see so it was like one carb per packet I miss eating those so all stores usually have meats, cheeses, um, happy bourbon cream, eggs. So I'm not going to show you that. And they usually should have all the sweeteners out there too. I'm going to show you some fun stuff. right now. <laughs> to me this is the fun area. 
And they do sell a Kerrygold butter here, but it's in the whipped one. It's in the little container for the blocks. But this is the this can make me sell because of all the sodium, which I know on keto sodium is not a big issue for most people, and it's not a big issue for me because I run low sodium. But for some reason, some of these items do mess me up. One card for one ounce. Hmm. I think I might get some of these. I really love this stuff. This is new. I've not seen them like this before. That's different. I've had some of this before and I like it. You can usually always find an owl like this, especially in a Costco, BJ's, even Sam's, and it becomes your best friend, especially if you don't know what to get. Okay, so they have different kind of peppers, zucchini noodles, I'm not really sure about butternut squash, I think it's high. Mushrooms, fresh green beans, normal bell peppers, of course our best friend cauliflower, and broccoli. I've been doing a lot of research lately though about cucumbers. And I'm going to start making sure to put plenty of cucumbers in my diet. It comes with a lot of benefits, um, but you got to eat the outside. It's where you get your fiber and stuff from. So I'm going to give it a try. Nothing could help right, hurt right now. Only help, I believe, when it comes to vitamins and stuff for me. I just haven't been feeling well. It has a lot of vitamin K. It has a lot of water. And drinking water plain gives me severe heartburn. So we're going to give this a go. It is 4 o'clock. At 1 o'clock, I had a collagen coffee. I am now having two sunny, well not sunny eggs, but two fried eggs and two ounces of Spam and another collagen coffee. Okay, it is 7 p.m. and I am about to have my dinner. I am having a chicken breast. It is about six ounces. I have more in case I want more. I'm also having two servings of broccoli and cheese. It comes to 10 net carbs, 12 total. I've had no carbs other than in my collagen coffee, which was only one per coffee. And I guess I did have two in the Spam and one in the two eggs together. So that's three, four, and then, the, yeah, it's still in a 20 total, no matter what. So, I'm happy. Okay, so now you see what I'm eating for dinner. I'm going to try filming while I'm eating, which is, I don't know. Hopefully, it doesn't grow show out. Okay, this ain't going to work for me. I can't talk and eat at the same time. I don't know how people do it. I guess I'll talk and then eat. Give me a second. Okay, so... Like I said, I've been under a lot of stress. Everyone knows that my dad had a heart attack um, the night before Thanksgiving, um, if you follow me. Um, and you know, a couple weeks ago, we had a scare with my mom. She has to go through some tests to find out what's going on with her heart. Um, so yeah, and this summer, I two cousins that I really didn't know like up close or anything, but I've known about them my whole life. I've followed their life my whole life. Um, they passed away. Um, I had another friend die at the beginning of the year, and then two nights ago, another friend passed away. Um, so, it has been a really crappy year to be truthful. Like, I mean, I love the moments I've got to spend with my family. I love the moments I got to spend with my baby in Hawaii. Um, but a lot of crazy stuff has happened this year. And especially in the last six months. Like, most of this has happened in the last six months. And stress can stop your weight loss on a scale. Like, beyond belief. So, that could be one of my big issues. Um, if you watch my past videos, you know I normally do not do the broccoli and cheese. Because it gives me water weight. But I'm not standing on a scale right now. I'm not paying attention to that part until January. So, I'm staying in my... Um, Carb macros is the only thing I am following. I'm not following calories or anything else. I do want to keep my protein high, though. 
um, which I've had trouble doing lately because of stress. I've been just like grabbing a piece of ham here or just cheese here or I will be honest, there was a few nights this weekend, one of the reasons I did not film what I was eating is all I ate was salt and crackers. I know, everyone's probably screaming. <clears throat> but I have had some severe issues with gushing heartburn. I have what's called GER. So it's basically where the little flap that's supposed to close on your stomach to keep the acid in your stomach does not close. I can bend over and throw up everywhere just from bending over. Yes, I take Nexium, which is supposed to help with that, but it's been so bad lately, it isn't helping. And if it is, holy crap, I wouldn't want to know what it's like without taking it. Um, so the only thing I could stomach for two nights in a row to try to soak up some of that acid because I kept throwing up over and over again um, was some saltine crackers. And I'm not going to feel guilty about it. Is it keto friendly? No. Is that normally what they suggest you do? No. Um, but most of the stuff they say go eat and stuff or drink or stuff that makes me have acid or makes me throw up because I have a slight allergy to it. Um, cause some people were telling me eat more green leafy vegetables. Well, I can only handle two cups a day period and not every day because my stomach does not like spinach, does not like lettuce, kale, any of those things. It literally gives me extremely bad cramps. Um, I can throw it up um, and it doesn't rush me to the bathroom with cramps. It just, I can, I have IBS, so I feel, well, it's IBSD to be technical. I feel the food go through my body and when it's food that my body doesn't like, it's really bad. Um, but it doesn't, ever since I did keto, it doesn't rush me to the bathroom anymore. It, before keto, it did. Um, but now it doesn't. It's just pain with no relief. <laughs> um, so I chose the saltine crackers. Um, do I regret it? Well, I didn't look at a scale, so I don't know how much to regret it. Um, I do know at that moment. I would have done anything in a anything in the world to make the gushing stop. Um, I barely could talk this weekend. It was in my vocal cords really bad and down into my lungs. Um, I was coughing, wheezing. My asthma was out of control because the heartburn was so crazy. Yesterday, I seemed to get under control better. I cut out tons of stuff out of my diet, like, oh my gosh. And that is why I'm having the broccoli, cheese, and chicken. Um, it doesn't affect me. I usually don't eat spam, but spam does not affect my heartburn, so that's why I had spam this morning. Um, eggs are usually okay as long as I only eat two a day. Um, so things I'm eating today, including my coffee, does not affect me. I drink a dark roast coffee um, so that it does, if I go medium or light, you can forget it. I'm going to have heartburn. Um, but as long as I'm doing dark roast, no heartburn. And I only have two cups a day with my collagen powder. Um, water usually gives me heartburn, so I'm a little scared because I am drinking water, but because I'm only doing two coffees a day, no canned sodas, no flavored water, um, like nothing, no carbon stuff, I'm not getting any fluid in. So I'm forcing myself to drink the water even though it does give me heartburn. I have been doing some research and I have found you can make a ginger tea, like go buy real ginger and make a tea out of it that's supposed to help with heartburn and then you get your fluids and ginger's really good for you. Um, you take ginger root, not any of the candies or anything like that you find in the store. So I'm gonna try that too. So, like I said, if you've seen any of my other videos recently or in the past month, I'm not keeping track of the scale. I'm keeping track of the way my clothes feel. So far my clothes is just the same tightness as it was before I started doing this. Um, before I started doing the carb up, it's basically the same. It's a little, it's gotten a little more loose. During the carb up, it was bad though. <laughs> like I will tell you, like I never wanna do that again. And at that time the scale didn't go up but a pound, but my body went up drastically. My face has gone up drastically and hasn't come back down. I don't, if you see my videos, maybe you notice. My arms are drastically, like, I can tell because this was more empty and it's more full right now. Um, and other parts of my body as well. Um, which, I'm not eating a lot of calories, so I know it's not fat. I know it's just tons of water weight. 
And that's why when you first start keto, you're drop like 20 pounds really fast because it's water. Um, so I know if I can get my body to get back on track with keto and stop my blood sugars from shooting rockets through the roof, and I don't know why, um, then I'd be good to go again. Um, I think also one of the issues was that I went off my metformin, um, and supposedly when you're on keto, you can. I take it for polycystic ovary syndrome. Supposedly you still can. I went off of it for almost two months, I think almost, or six weeks, and mm -mm, it was bad. I've recently gone back on it um, a couple weeks ago, and I'm starting, my sugars are finally starting to, at first they were all over the place. And the other night, well, when I was doing the carb up, it was getting to 200. And I wasn't testing it the whole time. I wished I had, I would have stopped the carb up immediately. I would have stopped that challenge. Um, but once I noticed, I was like, no, I'm done. Because some people swear by it. And the first year, that was my go-to. If I stalled, I carved up for a few days and then hit new lows. Um, and some people can do it. My body doesn't like it. Um, I am feeling way better than I have in a very long time, though. I will tell you that. I have been feeling miserable, horrible, just like... My emotions are all over the place um, because of everything going on, but um, physically I feel better. I, my arm, I have a pinched nerve, I think from my disc in my back, um, so I'm trying not to use my left arm too much. It will go numb, it shins shooting pain. Um, so I'm still waiting to get into a doctor, but my cousin's a nurse and she was here and she said she had the same issues and it turned out to be I don't remember which seed, C1, C some, I don't know, dis, um, in her, and exactly what I explained was exactly what she went through, or is going through too, so, um, yeah, but, as I said, I'm doing page four, um, and dirty keto is fine, and this would be considered dirty keto because the cheese comes out of a box. Um, but the chicken I made myself in my little ninja grill. I just put some salt and pepper on it only and put it in there for 23 minutes. Oh yeah, and I did spray a tiny bit of olive oil spray on it. So it's considered clean keto. The broccoli itself would be clean keto, but the cheese that is on it is a cheese sauce, which is not clean keto, and it's probably what gives it the most carbs. Um, but I'm not doing clean keto right now. As the first of the year comes around, I might, I don't know yet, I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing. I have decided that we will be adding exercise in because it's really good for the heart. Um, and at the beginning of the year, um, a YMCA finally opens, which means I'm going to go swimming every day in laps, tens of laps, well, once my shoulder heals. And I'm going to use their ellipticals and treadmills and later on figure out how to use the weight machines and I want to add all that this year because I got 50 pounds left to go and I want to knock off as much as possible. The 181 pounds now, like, I should be really excited. I lost that much, but this last 50, because it's so hard, it makes me forget how far I've come because to me, it's like, oh, I spent so long trying to get this last 50 off. That drives me crazy. And I will come down closer where I only have 30 something left and then shoot back up and then it's back to 50 again. Um, so yeah, that can drive you crazy and don't let it because this girl lets it and I'm trying not to. <laughs> um, so yeah, put in the comments, um, if you want to, if you're annoying the scale, I know a few of y'all are going to let the scale go until the 1st of January. Um, and then if you are, do you have like some big plan, like, um, are you just going to do keto? Are you going to add more stuff? Are you just going to clean your keto up or just continue the way you are now, just weighing? Um, I don't know. I usually don't do New Year's resolutions, but mine is to get my stronger physically because I've gotten weak and more um, active for my heart. It's heart health year for me. Um, so that's why I won't be doing all the hot dogs and bacon and stuff as of January. You'll see me cut those out drastically. Um, so, yeah. We don't have that many more weeks left of this year, so it's going to fly quickly. 
and then a new year, which is kind of sad because I really wanted to celebrate New Year's in Hawaii with my baby. I got to last year, but I can't this year, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, tell me what you want to see or what you want me to talk about. I have a lot of things to talk about, but sometimes I'm just like, does anyone actually want to hear that? <laughs> I'm looking rough. My hair is completely washed. But I uh, did not have time to use the little curling iron brush or a straightener. Um, so it is just, yeah. And I was like, hey, it's too late in the day to worry about any makeup. So it's laundry day. So I've been doing laundry all day long. Um, usually I do have a video for Saturday, just never Sunday morning. But like I said, I felt guilty eating those um, saltine crackers even though there was nothing going to stop me from eating them. That's how sick I was. Um, but I felt guilty coming on here and telling y'all, well, I did great all day until I ate saltine crackers and like half the, the tube of saltine crackers. And then the next night, half the thing of saltine crackers. Um, and I don't, I don't have any more in my house, so I cannot do it again tonight, no matter how desperate I feel. But I'm hoping I won't have those issues tonight. So I'm going to shut up now and say goodnight and y'all get to see my day tomorrow.